Hey everybody, welcome back to the Grognard's Corner, and we are stepping into turn five of our playthrough of Victory Game Sixth Fleet, Modern Naval Combat in the Mediterranean, Scenario 5, Age and Offensive. And I am just going to say right now, I think this is the turn that is going to decide the fate of the battle. I think, uh, I think this turn is going to be... <sighs> an explosion of violence. We've seen kind of a slowly rising crescendo of doom in the last couple turns, but I think uh, I think the cacophony is going to reach its uh, peak during this turn. So let's see what happens. All right, so stepping in uh, before the activation phase, we have the cap, and now I've got to really, really pay attention because I've got to keep my best interceptors and my full squadrons on cap because those Tupolovs are now raging across the Mediterranean. So it's going to be one squadron of F-14s, one squadron of F-18s, and E-2 advanced early warning. Put them on the cap display over there. It's a pretty little cap display. And the cap marker on Task Force 2. Now, um, as I said in the last video, um, I'm, I'm kind of running the second fleet rules for this next part uh, for the local detection. As I stated in the last video, uh, the rules as written in Sixth Fleet, the only time you ever get the chance to try to detect somebody unless they move through your limited or extended detection zone is during the AM turn. thought that was kind of silly. Second Fleet kind of cleaned that up a little bit so there's a chance for you to detect someone in your limited or extended each turn. Um, so we're going to go with that, and that happens after the cap phase. And that allows this submarine to finally spot the Kennedy, or I keep wanting to call it Kennedy, the Nimitz task group, which could be very bad because now those nasty, nasty Tupolovs out of Sevastopol have another target. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into the initiative. Five Soviets. Ooh, not good for the U.S. Um, you know, we're gonna go with air. Uh, I think we want to try to finish off the Jersey Battle Group. They're crippled. We can't let them hook up with the cap from the Nimitz. Uh, and it's you know it's it's just a good idea to strike at them. So, we are going to be basically doing what we did last turn. And we're taking the Tupolovs and the early warning aircraft. And let's go ahead and set everything down here nice and neat. And All right, those are the arrayed forces we have. And again, the uh, Tupolovs are going to be uh, launching their uh, uh, anti-ship missiles from four hexes out. So they're going to be kind of flying over through the Adriatic, over Italy, coming in from the north end of the Tyrian Sea to avoid the cap from the uh, Kennedy. Nimitz. I do not know why I keep wanting to call it the Kennedy. Uh, so there's no cap phase, there's no intercept phase, we just have the straight up bombers coming in. Um, as before, uh, the Tupolovs all have, you know, 50 strike factors, so a grand total of 150. And the electronic warfare is going to limit, is going to reduce the, uh, uh, da, 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 area AA by one. So we got 150. We're going to go ahead and put 90 into the jersey again, and that's going to leave 30 into the biddle and 30 into the sims. So counting up their close or their area A034, and then area A for targets and ships underneath targets 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Not good. So 11 on the uh, dice roll, and they're not a task group, so there's no modifiers for that. A five on the 11 column is going to be a negative four dice roll modifier. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with the jersey. 
Um, so she's got 90 screaming in at her at a minus four. Six, that's going to be a two, which is going to be a six, which is more than half. The jersey takes a couple more hits and shutters, slowly slows down, begins to list to the port side. Captain abandons order ship and the mighty jersey slips underneath the waves after a couple hours of trying to fight the fires and save the ship. The Biddle takes a 30. Yeah, 30. At a minus four, so three is a negative one. On the 30 column is going to be a two, which is gonna be more than half, so the Biddle is damaged. She takes a couple hits as well. And the Simmons, same thing. Six is going to be a two on the 30 column, which is going to be a three, which is equal to her. And the Sims probably takes a couple hits amidship, detonating one of her torpedo magazines and causing the ship to list and eventually slip under the waves as well with a high loss of life. So, like I said, this turn was probably going to be very, very deadly. Um, those Tupolovs have managed to just do very, very bad things to the Jersey Battle Group. And they return home to Sevastopol. And the Biddle remains all by her little lonesome up there off the coast of Sicily doing what she can to enact rescue efforts to save the sailors of the four other ships in her task group that were sunken in the same area. Yeah. Wow. That was bad. <laughs> okay, um, Soviet air, pretty much no more Soviet air. I mean, all their, they've had what, two, one P3 squadron shot down. Um, they've got one or one P3, one Tupolev squadron shot down, one Tupolev squadron still in the central med on tack cord, which I'm going to have to use. Um, so that's it for Soviet surface, um, or Soviet air. I think the U.S. wants to do subs. I'm going to try to cripple some stuff. So basically we've got these two subs way up here in the Tyrian Sea. Tyrian sea. Let's go ahead and take the uh, Portsmouth first. One, two... Have I been doing that wrong? Oh, balls, I think I did that wrong. Crap, all right, I've been looking at the wrong number for their movement. I've been looking at defense instead of movement. So one, two, three, four... God, movement of one. All right, so we'll go ahead and retcon those guys back because they should not have been moving this that far. Oopsie, sorry. Um, they're going to move into their six ASW factor at the wounded Soviet sub. Uh, we got a three on the six column, which is a two, which is not enough to sink her. So we'll go ahead and move the Boston. And she'll work on knocking her out as well. She's got an ASW of 9. We got a 3 on the 9 column, which is a 3, which is half of her, half of the uh, Pskov's uh, defense, which inflicts a hit, which sinks her. Some small measure of retribution from the uh, U.S. submarines. Not much, but some as they were able to sink the scav off the coast of Sicily. Um, now we got the wounded drum. Hmm. It's got 11 torpedo factors. That's not a lot. Let's go after that sub right there. Her value is a 5. So five on the five is a three, which is not enough. Uh, should have paid attention to that. And that's all the US subs. Wow. All right, second activation phase. 
won Soviets again. Um, I'm gonna go surface. They are going to go surface. The Kirov is happy sitting skulking in the islands off Crete. So that leaves the Mince battle group and they need to do something. So let's go ahead and commit her to going after that wounded US sub. And her ASW is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Pretty good chance. She had a 12 last time as well, but she botched the rolls, probably continuing to do uh, damage control from the previous turn, so it probably reduces her capabilities a little bit, which is why she rolled a one. I rolled a one again. All right, so we know that doesn't do anything. Um, the Os patrol boats are sitting fat and happy, still interdicting Limnos, uh, keeping any civilian and military shipping from arriving and knowing standard Soviet uh, naval diplomacy it's probably opening up with their guns to before asking questions of both civilian and military ships all right so flips over to the US US is going to do air yep and so one of the first things we're going to do is we've got the ASW aircraft off the Nimitz. She's going to try to hit the Soviet submarine skulking right there. Oh, did, oh, I did subs, but I didn't do anything with this one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, actually, she's got nine torpedo factors. She's got a movement of one, nine torpedo factors against a task group. You know what? She wouldn't be able to do anything, so she's going to pull back. She spotted the subs already which is fine actually you know what no let's do a little psycho run let's go ahead and uh yeah big uh big task group we're gonna put uh we're gonna put nine torpedo factors into the uh oh i can't even remember what the name of that is Degrass something or other um so we choose five ships for anti-submarine warfare so it's gonna be uh, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 defense all against the torpedo attack. This is a torpedo attack, not an ASW. So <laughs> there is a defensive role. Uh, so a 2 on the 19. Oh, it's actually a plus 2 because they're a task force. So it's a roll of 4 on the 19 column which is a minus four penalty so we're rolling on the nine column we got a one yeah it's gonna be nothing <laughs> one minus four negative three big goose egg uh okay so now within yeah that was the retcon uh because we forgot to do them and you know what yeah they are gonna move they're gonna really realize how how futile it was to attack but the e3s are going to go ahead and still continue to try to strike at them ASW of three, we rolled a two, which is a one, which isn't going to be enough. Poopy. Um, then we're going to go ahead and take the strike group, our, our, our rapidly depleting strike group from the, uh, from the Nimitz with its uh, A6 F-18s and the EW from the uh, EA-6, and they're going to hit the remnants of the Minsk. So one, two, three, four, five, definitely got the range. So let's pull this off. Okay, so we've got uh, 50 bomb, bomb factors. Um, you know what, I think we're gonna put 25 on the Olich and 25 on the Azov. Now, you know what, let's, uh, yeah, the Minsk has still got an ASW of eight. She's still acting as a pretty good anti-submarine platform because of all the helicopters she got. So we'll go ahead and put, uh, we'll go ahead and bomb and put all 50 on the Minsk. Okay, so the defense is going to be uh, 5, 10, or, yeah, uh, area, minus one for the electronics warfare, four, five, six, 
four, five, six, then close, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 defense factors. Three on the 16, which is a four, which is not enough to do any damage to the air squadrons this time. So, but it is a four penalty. Bombing on the 50 column. Minus four, six minus four is a two. On the 50 column is a five. Which, yep, they managed to land several bombs and several guided bombs right on her flight deck. It was almost enough to sink her. But they do a lot of damage to her anyways. And they don't take any casualties in return, which is always a good thing. Because the U.S. can't really afford to take too many airs, more air squadron casualties. Okay, so that was that air. Do I have any other air? Uh, nope, just the stuff that's on cap. So, third activation phase. Six, U.S. What is the U.S. not done yet? Surface, right? Yes, surface. Um, well, you know what? Uh, one, two, what's actually, what is her movement? Yeah, three. So she's going to pull into... Uh, Montesina, I believe that is. And she's probably going to sit out the rest of the war there. Uh, yeah, probably the safest thing to do. Um, the Nimitz is going to go sub hunting. So she's going to move right there and actually go sub hunting. Let's see, I can choose five, so I got six, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This is ASW, so there is no defensive roll on the 19 column. We got a one, jeez. Oh, that's a two, that's not gonna be enough to damage her. No, her defense is a six. Oh. What are the Soviets? Okay, well, that's basically all of the surface. All of the surface. Yep, all the surface. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. That wasn't subs that I did earlier. All right, well, I messed that up. I thought I had, thought I had missed the subs, but I hadn't done the subs yet. I know where I was thinking. When I had to retcon these, I thought that was this. Uh, I got confused. So even writing it down, I'm not catching it. Ugh. Sorry, guys. All right. So sub is the last thing that I haven't done yet for the Soviets. We'll say she already did hers. Um, and this one, this sub is going to go after the wounded drum. ASW of nine could be bad. Six. On the nine column is going to be a four. Yep, that's going to be enough to sink her. U.S. casualties are just mounting. Ugh, not good. Um, and this sub with a movement of four. She's going to go ahead and slip back up here and try to take out that U.S. sub. With a nine, one, that's not going to be anything. And that's going to be the turn. Well, not quite as bloody as I thought it was going to be, although still was, uh, still was, eh, well, actually it was kind of bloody. Jersey and, uh, uh, who is it, the Sims slipped beneath the waves. And uh, Minsk was damaged. Lots of casualties, not quite as much as I thought there was going to be. Kind of a quick turn, kind of getting more back into the flow of the game. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints? Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms in the comments section. Got myself confused there for a little bit, and I'll talk to everybody later. See ya!